So welcome to the walkthroughs of the one of my problems here. <clears throat> the first topic, position versus time. The first one of my problem is Lady Gaga is passing you, as she would do, and you measure her distance at regular time intervals. She's going very, very, very consistently by you, apparently. Um, it says constructive position versus time graph that includes a line of best fit using these measurements. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look at this and say times on this column right here and positions versus uh, positions over here. So I'm going to put uh, position on this axis over here. So I'm just going to make sure that that's in terms of meters. And normally I would write position on it, but it's kind of hard right here to write sideways. It doesn't quite work, so I'm just going to put M right here, and that's going to be our position. And over here we're going to have time. I'll do the normal kind of um, time in seconds. And now what I'm going to try to do, now I should use a ruler for this, but I really don't have any way of doing this online with a ruler. I'm going to um, try to make these at really regular intervals here, and I'm going to go out to six... Oh, I'm going to go out to six um, seconds. So I'm going to try to make it as even as possible here. So I'm going to go, this is going to be zero seconds. Zero. I'm going to try this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll just leave another one, seven. So this is one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. And six seconds right there. And then for position, these are all going by five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, we're missing a 30 here. So it's going all the way out to 35. So I'm gonna go, it looks like that would be eight places out there for about the same kind of scale. So I'm gonna go eight and we'll demarcations up here. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is going to be kind of a squat graph here. So there's position. It's in meters. That's going to be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Okay, great. Now I'm going to use a different color for the, the points, the data points over here. I'm going to use salmon. Right. So the first point is zero and five meters. So that's going to be right here. You go to zero time and five meters. So this is the independent variable. This is the thing that's changing. And this is changing apparently because of the time. Um, that's the position over here. <clears throat> All right, the next point is 1 and 10. So at 1 second, it's, it, uh, Lady Gaga is at 10. So I'm going to go 1 up to 10. Right about there. That's where this comes across, and this goes up. Then I'm going to look over here, 2 to 15. So go up 2 and go all the way to 15. Looks like it's a very regular... Let me see over here about this. Yeah, right about there. And then 3 to 20. 3 over to 20. If I've done all my skills correctly... This should be a very straight line. And then 4, 25. 4 and 25. It's about there. That one was a little bit off in the scales, it looks like. And then 5. Oh, there is no 5. We've got 6 and 35. So I'm going to go 6 and I'm just eyeballing that all the way over there. 35. Great. So I've plotted the points. I've done that first part. Number 2. What is the equation for the line of best fit? You can start it for Lady Gaga. Okay, I'm going to make what I think... I'm going to choose two points right here. I'm going to choose... Well, first, I'm going to choose lavender. Huh. I'm going to choose two points. I'm just going to choose any... I can choose any points I want to, but I'm going to choose... Just to make it easy on myself, I'm going to choose this point right here, and I'm going to choose this point right here. I could have chosen this one. I could have chosen this one. I could have chosen any other points, just two sets of points, but I chose these two right here. And normally, I'm just going to start off with this and say, okay, well, normally... Let's see if we can go all the way down. Oh, uh, crap. Okay. Normally, I can uh, make the line just... Or, or, the, the equation is y equals mx plus b, where uh, y is the a y value, x is the x value, this is the slope, and this is the y-intercept. So I want to make this equation right here. 
this is, you know, this is easy. I usually just leave the, I mean, I guess always you just leave the y value as a y, the x value is an x. You need to find what the slope is, and you need to find what b is. Well, b is obviously 5. So I'm just going to look right here. The y-intercept, this is the y-axis. The y-intercept is 5. So I know this is going to be 5. I'm just going to put a 5 down right here. Um, x, I'm always going to leave as x. Y, I'm always going to leave as y. But I need to find what m is. Now to find m, m is the slope. The slope of this line. And the slope of any line is the rise over the run. Um, the rise we can measure in the change of the y values, and the run we measure by the change in the x values. So I can also write this, and this is the first Greek symbol. Oh my god, this is exciting. We've got delta, that means change, change in y over the change in x. Delta means change. You're going to see that so many times in this class. Change over y, or change of y, and change of x. So what is the change of y in these two points right here? Well, you have to look at this y point and that y point, and you take the final y point minus the initial y point to find the change in y. So for us, the final y point is 15. The initial was 5. I got that from this value right here. I'm just looking on the y-axis here. 15, and our initial was 5. Then I look at the x. Here's the x. The final was 2, and the initial was 0 final was 2, and the initial was 0. So if I calculate what this is, this is going to be 10 over 2, which uh, reduces to 5 over 1. And that is our slope. So our slope, again, is our rise over run, which is the change in y over the change in x. And we found the two points to give us, or we used two points to find the change in y and then over the change in x. So our slope, which is the m value right here, is just 5 over 1, and that's the same thing as 5. I could put 5 over 1 here if I wanted to, but it's unnecessary to really have that 1. So that's the equation that this question is asking for, so I'm going to circle that. Uh, kind of. There. There. Okay, now I'm going to go down. i got to scroll down here a little bit so I can fit this in the screen. Okay. Uh, what is Lady Gaga's position at 3.5 seconds? Now, to find this, this is, a, this is pretty cool. There's no data right here to show us what this would be. You can kind of guess what this would be, but I'm going to use this equation to figure this out. So her position, that's what we want to find. The position is our y value, so I'm going to leave that as our y. We're going to find that y. <clears throat> our slope is 5. Our x value, which is our time, is now a different, I'll use a different color for this, is... I'll use licorice or black, um, is three seconds. So I'll put in brackets here, 3.5 seconds. Awesome. And we're still going to have plus five. So I'll leave that right here, plus five. <clears throat> um, five, I should have gone back over here and made this very clear. The y values right here, I could use units with this. And I'm going to use units in, what's an easy to read color here? Tangerine. Our units um, for rise with the change in y. Well, y was meters. You can't see it right here, but it was meters. I'll just put m right there. So that was meters. And our x value, our change in x was seconds. So this whole thing is, our slope was really meters over second. So it's five meters over one second. So this right here should be five meters over one second. And over here, five, well, five what? What was that? So five, it would be five meters. This would be five meters. That's the position right here. That was our y-intercept. And y is always in terms, in this case, y is in terms of meters. So I want to look at what our units do right here. Our units right here, we see that we've got meters on the top, seconds in the bottom. If you multiply meters over seconds, you're going to see that seconds will cancel out. And I'm going to go through conversions in a little bit. But right now, if you don't understand why this cancels out, that's OK. That's totally fine. Don't worry about it yet. But I'll just let you know that it does cancel out. So our seconds will cancel out, and we're going to be left with these units of meters. So right here, all you do to calculate this, you're going to take 5 times 3.5 
take that product plus five. And if you do that, oh, I should grab a calculator, shouldn't I? Oh, here we go. So if we do that, let me grab a calculator here. Calculator. Uh, okay. Um, it's going to be five times 3.5. 5 times 3.5 is 17.5. Let me get back to my color here, lavender. That's 17.5. And since our seconds cancel, this is going to be meters, plus 5 meters, and that's going to give us our y value right here. So 17.5 plus 5, that's our y value in meters, y values in meters. So you're adding five to this, this will give you 22.5 meters. And if you look at this, it looks about like 22.5 meters should be about the right answer here if it was 3.5. It's right on that line, so that makes sense. Our last question is, what, will ha what time will have passed when Lady Gaga reaches the position 62 meters? This answer is an extrapolation. Oh, and this answer wasn't an interpolation, it's in between the data. So for this last question right here, you do exactly the same thing as you did for number three. And that is you use your equation that you derived in question number two from your data <clears throat> to answer what this uh, time should be when Lady Gaga reaches 62 meters. So think about that. What would you do? I hope you said or thought that what you do is you plug in 62 to the y value and you just leave x as an x value. So you'd use the same equation, which was y equals mx plus b, so it'd be y equals five meters times x, I don't know why I'm putting that in parentheses, but I am, x seconds plus five meters and now you're going to be plugging in 62 meters for this y right here. So it's going to be 62. <clears throat> 62 meters equals 5 meters. Again, over 1 second, meters per second. 1 second, it's getting a little cramped here. Times x seconds plus 5 meters. And all we're doing now is we're just using algebra to solve for x. So to use algebra to solve for x, the first thing I would do in this, I'm going to make this come up over here. I'm just going to use a little arrow because I'm running out of space. I don't think this now it doesn't draw. <clears throat> so I'm going to take 62 minus 5 because I want to get x by itself. I want to isolate x. So I'm going to first going to, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. So 62 minus 5 is, uh, mental math, 57 meters equals 5 meters per second. One second, times x. I'll just leave the parentheses since I started off with them. Now I want to get x by itself. So what do I do? I divide by 5 over 1 on both sides, or just by 5 on both sides. Oh, and if I do that, these will flip over, and you'll see that it's... I'll just draw that out. 57 meters divided by 5 meters per second. This will flip, and that equals x seconds. So it's 57 divided by 5. Let's see what that is. Let's make a calculator right over here. 57 divided by 5 is 11.4. So you should get an answer of 11.4. And it'll be seconds because these meters will cancel out and you're left with seconds. Um, and we will cover how these things cancel out, but just know for now that they do. Okay? So that's the warm-ups. Good luck on the practice problems. They're due by the end of the week.